Okay, Dave, uh, I'm going to compare your swing here to uh, Larry Mize. So here we go. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you here is your swing in uh, full motion. I drew a swing plane line there so you can see your swing plane. And if you look, you look at your spine angle. See how you're leaving your spine angle? So that's not good. Now look at his spine angle, Larry Mize's. Uh, he moves it a little bit, but that's there's some camera movement in here too. But uh, I just wanted to show you the difference in the swing. And also, you already know that your swing is short, so so that short swing is uh, it's going to be hard to compare. Um, but let's just take a look here. Here's your spine angle. There's Larry Mize's spine angle, and um, we're going to start it back. I'm going to show you that you pull the club back to the inside, where Larry Mize keeps it right on plane. Um, see, he's right on plane there, where you get yours inside. I do the same thing, so this isn't a bad thing. It's just that when you get it inside, you have to be careful that. Uh, that you don't get it so far inside uh, that you can't get it back down. Look at this the club here too. Yours is shut, his is right square. And I'll take it back another few frames here. You can see he gets above the plane like he's supposed to. You stay behind the plane or underneath the plane. So uh, this is something you're going to have to work on. Uh, the club is uh, still closed, but uh, we'll look at the difference here. Uh, he's square, um, you're shut. But again, it's because you don't make a complete turn and you've brought the club inside. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, take it back a couple more frames here. All right. This is as far as you go right there, uh, which looks like a three-quarter swing. Um, obviously, you, you're going to have to get this club back to, to this triangle um, if you really want to be consistent. You can see Larry Mize has a triangle there, uh, and you can see that his club is square at impact. Uh, yours is uh, slightly, uh, maybe open a little bit, but you're going to have to get the club back higher. Um, the shoulder turn is really good. It's just that uh, the swing isn't long enough. Um, so that's the problem you have here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you then, when you start back down, and this is where you have to be very careful, your timing has to be perfect. Larry Mises coming back down until he gets right there. Now, if we compare yours and his, he's right on plane right here. And so are you coming back down. The club is right on, on the plane. Um, so this isn't a bad position here, which is why you don't, you play pretty good golf because you can get the club back on plane because you haven't taken it back very far. But if your timing isn't perfect, you're going to hit a big push to the right or uh, you could pull it. But uh, this is something you're going to have to work on. You're going to have to lengthen that swing if you want to get consistent. So let's watch here. Now here's a big problem. I want to show you the hand position and look what happened here. Uh, you're going to need at least a two or three degree upright club to compensate for the fact that your hand started here. And when you hit the ball, this is uh, this is going to require a real upright swing because if you look at what what's happened, um, the toe has got to be down, the heel has got to be up because your hands are much higher at impact than uh, at impact than they were when you started. Or if you look at Larry Mize, and again I move the camera, but if you look at Larry Mize's hands, that's where he started, and then when he comes down, he's just a little bit below that, but he's his little club is right on plane at impact. So you can see here, there's just a little bit of movement, but yours, is there's a lot of movement here. So this is not good. That's something you're going to have to work on. Uh, this will make your ball go to the right if you don't have at least two or three degree upright uh, with with clubs. So uh, you're going to, and this is because you lost your spine angle. You know, when you come down, you move really far forward. Now, let's take a look at your shoulders. Your shoulders are in great shape. So no problem there. You make a big shoulder turn, and you stay behind the ball well. And uh, the shoulder looks pretty good. And then you have an abbreviated follow-through. But uh, I think your two issues is hand position at impact versus uh, where you start, uh, which is requiring you to have a, a tailored uh, club at least two or three degrees.